Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Docs, and today we're going to get into the second installment in the Discord.js tutorial series. Now today we're going to be doing an embed tutorial. A lot of people will see that there are embeds in Discord and for instance, I'll bring up one right now. Uh, this is basically what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be creating user info whilst also creating server info. And then we'll add also, I'll show you how to do some other stuff. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, I'm actually going to correct my mistake here. I'm going to open my, uh, the folder here. Okay. So basically what you want to do is, um, you don't necessarily have to do this, uh, but we're going to create a colors.json. And basically if I bring up an internet browser quickly, open colors. Basically, you'll be up here. So we can drag this around and you'll see that this um, hashtag over here will change. And basically, if we bring back Discord, you'll see that there is a color here. And obviously, we can change that color to anything in the rainbow. And um, basically, how you want to put it in, I'll just put this in for instance. So I'll grab that ID. I'll remove this out the way. What we want to do quickly is uh, just do this. We want to name it, uh, for instance, because it's pink, we'll name it pink. And then we'll do this and like that. But I have a thing already open. I'll grab some colors. This is from my bot that uh, is currently in development. This is the bot. So this, this is all the colors that we have in here. And basically what we want to do is hit save on that. And then obviously it isn't dragged in yet. But it's basically the exact same thing as this JSON up here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do colors. And then save that, save that. And then we should be all good. Sorry, moving that. Basically what this means is when we create our first embed, I'm just gonna quickly do this and remove this. Um, basically when we create our first embed, we can drag in colors. So for instance, we can use the cyan, uh, dark blue, purple, for, and anything like that. So let's get straight into this. So because we haven't created a command handler yet, we don't wanna make it as a, a variable or a constant. We want to create the embed as a let. This basically means it just, it's within that code block. And uh, we're going to call it, uh, we'll call it S embed. And it's just, it, it's just defining it. So it, new discord dot rich embed with some of these at the end. And then we're going to start off by adding the color. So add, sorry, Australian spelling here. We'll do set color. Why is it doing that? Oh, sorry. I feel stupid now. Um, set color. And then what we can do is we just do color. Oh, wait. Let's change the name of this quickly. Colors. And then we'll go down here. Colors.cyan. And what it will do is it will drag the color ID from here, which is if we just bring the hex thing back up and we put it in here. It's this color and that isn't really a cyan, but we'll just go with that anyways. So back on this sets the color of the embed and then we want to add, for instance, a title. We can set the title and the title, I believe, can be up to 25 characters. And we're just going to do, uh, we'll just name it user info. And then we'll go on to the next bit. We want to add a field and for the field, you want to add two sections. So the first section will be more of a subtitle. So we'll add in the server info so we'll do guild name um, I guess we'll put this in uh, we'll put this in bold uh, we'll add we go outside of here do this and then what we want to do is we just want to add message dot guild dot name and this means whenever the guild name is changed or if you have this bot in various different discords it will be that um, hold up, let's just add this stuff so that it will actually work. And then if we want it in line, which we do for this, we'll add true at the end. And this just means that, uh, if we bring Discord back up, um, how embeds work is if you don't put true at the end, it will go down downwards, but if it can fit, it will stick another one next to it as well. Um, if the icon isn't here, it will stick another one there. Normally it's up to three, I believe in a line, uh, just depending on how much is actually in it. What we'll do is we'll add a, another field and we will do guild owner. 
yet again adding the boldness to this we go outside of it we'll add these and what we want to do is do message dot channel dot oh sorry message dot guild dot owner and this will just pull the owner of the guild and we also want to make this true add field yet again we'll add another field and this is gonna be uh we'll add the member count sorry this is server info server info do a space there member count and then obviously add this add a dollar sign inside there and then we what we want to do is do message dot guild dot member count with a capital c don't forget the capital c otherwise it will return null add field yet again and i'll believe this will be the final one we'll do this as uh roles um you can uh you can add uh channel size and all that kind of stuff so we'll do roll count uh, out here dollar sign i keep losing it on my keyboard um like that we will add message dot guild dot roles dot size and then we will add also true in there oh let's add a space after that so after we've done all this we want to also maybe set a author so we can set author um what we'll do is we'll set the author as i guess we'll add a name um Guess we can just set the name also as the guild name. Um, just do message dot guild dot name like that, and then after that do server info, uh, or we can just do info, and then add a comma, and then what we want to do is we just want to add the icon. So I'm just gonna drag it in from over here because i've got a thing open with it so this will just grab the icon of the server so if i bring this back up it's just this icon right here and it will just set it as the um the thing up here as you can see it's right here and then what we want to do is we also want to set a footer um this can be the bots information so for this what we're going to do is we'll just do the bot's name which obviously you can hard code into the bot itself uh, for this we'll do test bot um, then we'll just add footer at the end because why not and then what we want to do is add a comma yet again bot dot user dot display avatar URL and this is the bots URL and this this is just basically the the normal concept um, you can add a description obviously um, we just do, is it add description? No, it's set description. You can set description. This can go up to, I believe, just over 2000 characters, something like that. But for this, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna return it. And then we're gonna do message.channel.send and then brackets embed dot, um, what's the name of the embed? S embed. And then we'll add a semicolon at the end. So since we've added that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the bot. I'm just gonna open it up on the other screen, tutorial bot. And then it should just load. Bam, it's loaded. Uh, we're gonna open this. I forget what the prefix is. I think it's just an exclamation mark. And then what if we name this? I believe we didn't even change the name prefix. And then we'll just do server info and save um that looks all good we've actually got to reload this because i haven't got no mod in i should probably add that since we're developing the bot and then that and then server info bam oh we can actually add the avatar which will make this look better um as you can see obviously because all of them are true it returns back the third column but we'll add in the avatar just right now. And what we want to do, because that is the thumbnail, we'll do set thumbnail and then do it because we want it to be the bots. Oh, wait, because it's the server info, we'll do message dot channel, uh, message dot guild dot 
more of the this this one here just stick that in there like that hit save and then we'll reload the bot so we've reloaded the bot and then we'll go in here we'll hit server info and bam it registers like that we've got the footer in there the author the uh logo coming up from here and then we've got the uh current member count current role count the owner of the guild which is me and then also the name of the guild now we can play around with this and add some more stuff like for instance we can have the region that the server's in we could add the um, online member count stuff like that we can also add how many text channels there are how many voice channels there are we can add when the server was created on but just for this we're gonna end it off there and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly grab this bring it down here and then we'll also do the user info uh, this one is a little bit more straightforward um, and I guess we'll change the color so if we go back here we can use a red wait we'll use a red light a light red we'll stick that in there and uh, we'll just close this instance quickly and basically what we're gonna do is we'll add the username discriminator ID the uh, status of the user and when the user was created um, so what we want to do is I guess we'll delete this stuff here um, this can stay the same message author dot uh, display URL. and then oh wait sorry no this is his name user username info and then this can be uh, message dot author dot display avatar like that um, We can do the username of the user we'll do it like this and then it would just be basically the thing above message dot author dot username and then that will be in line we'll quickly add this line yet again and then we will have the discriminator so discriminator it's a very long word should learn it um we'll just do message dot author dot discriminator um we'll add this line yet again i'm just rushing this a little bit just so um you guys don't get too bored because it's basically the same concept um just obviously for user info and dot id in there and we'll do is do this again uh we'll add the status so it's uh i think it's presence dot Dot status and then we'll add this yet again um, and then we'll do oh sorry uh, status and then this can be created at and then basically we would just want to add user dot the created at um, everything seems to be good we'll add the footer back um, uh, we'll also, I guess we'll rename the embed to, uh, to user info. This can be server info, obviously, um, user info, let, let, let done. We'll open up the bot again. It shouldn't come back with any errors. And then what we'll do is we'll do user info and then that should come back with the user info. Um, obviously you can, um, I think you can round this off but th this is what you're gonna get um you got the do not disturb which is what i'm on do not disturb you've got the id of myself which is if you copy the id that's what the id comes out of um and then you've got my username and my discriminator anyways guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope you have enjoyed in the next episode we're actually going to be creating a command handler and um just some steps into how to do that Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Connor from Menu Docs. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.